too many people come out to the desert and bob around in their 4x4s as though they're in the parry to Dakar rally. Driving off-road requires patience, concentration and a few simple driving techniques. One important tip is to keep your thumbs out of the wheel because if you hit a rock and the wheel turns suddenly, the bar can be thrown around and break them. Driving in sand, you want to get into the higher gears, pull away in second and try to get into third quickly. But you have to build up momentum. If you put the clutch in and you're not going fast enough, you simply stop. What you want to do is just float across the top of it. <laughs> well, if you drive long enough off-road, you're inevitably going to get stuck. It's normal. It's all part of the game and it's no drama. It's not such a difficult thing to get out. I could just lower the tyre pressures here and pull straight out, but these vehicles are really well equipped. We don't need to go through the hassle of letting the tyres down and reinflating them. There's another way. The really good news is that the differential here isn't touching the sand. If that was, then the weight of the vehicle is supported by it and it would be a much bigger job of digging. So what I think I'll do is just remove the sand that's impeding the progress of the rear wheels. And we get out of here real quick. These are sand mats or sand ladders, whatever you want to call them. And they're excellent because they can basically give you a road surface to drive on in soft sand. Of course, I don't want to stop too quickly once I get out of the sand. So there's one last trick. So I bring these with me. Now, if there's one place you don't want anybody to stand when you're using these mats, it's right behind the vehicle because they can be thrown out by the wheels at high speed. I once saw that happen in Zaire. A man was standing here, the vehicle moved forward, the sand mats came back and hit him across the shins, cutting him to the bone. Well, there you go. Vehicles on hard ground and the sand mats are with me. I don't have to go back for them. And of course, efficiency is a basic principle when you're out in the outback. 